And welcome wonderful viewers, I am the audiophile barista, this is vlog 117 and in these vlogs I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keep me busy, so let's get into it. So what is happening here? Well, not much, although I do have my eye at the moment on a single-ended triode amplifier and those of you who don't know or don't follow my channel, Recently I sold my OTL, Output Transformer-less Tube Amplification, and now I am looking for new stuff. So maybe a set will be part of this setup soon, and I'll keep you updated. And then there is something that I would like to show you, which is downstairs. And downstairs, of course, I have my media room. You all know it. If you don't know, check out my video about this room and over here this thing normally is in that corner over there but i am trying out something new and what i'm trying out is all these pieces of equipment that are here a lot of them are usually on standby all the time and i have so many pieces of equipment in this room that I wanted to change something and make sure that only the pieces of equipment that I'm using are receiving power. So I picked up this. These are normally, well, they are sold as DJ equipment. So you can turn on and off all the lights or the things that you want to. I bought two of them. And the reason for that is that I want all my equipment to put on this thing let's have a look at the back and i and as you can see you have all these power outlets over here so i can just use any piece of equipment put it in here note down the number and up front here, I can just turn on and off the things that I want to turn on and off. Now, this is going to mean that this turntable, this quad setup, this Nakamichi CD tape and amplifier, all going to be connected to this thing. But also over here, I have this corner that I have all my headphone set up. So there's a preamp that I use as a headphone output. There is a headphone, headphone amplifier. There is another headphone amplifier. And there is of course my stock amplification. And I'm playing mostly from this Arkham CD player. So all these things need longer power cords to reach to this thing and I also want to have some of the the old tube TV or the flat screen TV all of them are going to be connected to this thing previously in the corner over there I had this long thing but this is of course one that has a lot of outputs, but you cannot switch everything individually. And there's also not a switch to turn everything on and off. So I removed it from there. I have some of these acoustic panels still left. So that's going to be also over there. And then I have here two outlets, which are two of four outlets in this room. And I have so many pieces of equipment that I also wanted for safety to try and not have too many pieces of equipment on just one outlet. These will both get their separate outlet, one from the two that I just showed you. And for example, if I'm going to connect the quad setup, I will use the power amplification on one power strip and the other two will be on the other power strips. So for example, I would turn on the amplifier, the tuner and the preamp. And that's 
how I would use it and divide the power also a little bit between the two power outlets. More equipment. So in that corner there's another outlet with two out outputs. And over here there's more equipment. But there is a... Let's see if I can reach it. It's over there. I hope you can see it. That is a PS Audio 10 output filter that I'm also using and some of the pieces of equipment that are on there are now going to be fit right over there. So why on a swivel? Well when it is in the corner over here this rack and this uh, drawer construction what is the right name? If the whole rack is in this corner it's very difficult to get onto the back of these things but if I can just swivel them around a little bit it makes it much much easier to reach it and because they are not all the way um, because they are not filling up this space completely I can just easily reach over and also pick up the ones that are furthest away and then to make it look neat again I can push them back. Okay so that is a small update of the things that I am busy with so let's go back upstairs. Okay so this is not the end of the vlog yet but there is a little announcement that I have to make. Next week I am on holiday so next week there will be no video and in two weeks I'll be doing my vlog again and what's left for today is that I had some pickups in the thrift store so let's have a look at that. Let's do a quick overview of what I scored in the last few weeks. The first thing I picked up is a cassette tape. This is the album Nightline from Randy Crawford. I picked up this CD from Nana Muscuri and Harry Belafonte, two wonderful voices. The recording quality unfortunately does not do justice to their voices. This is a recording from 1965 and it is all sang in Greece. Now you know I have the CD from Belafonte where he sings the blues. He of course sings a lot of Caribbean music. This is all in Greece. If you ever encountered this CD and maybe you have not heard Nana Muscuri so much, try out number four on here which is called The Train. The titles are in English but it is sang in Greece. A wonderful song that will give you an idea of the beautiful voice of Nana Muscuri. And now the CD I picked up is this one, Esperanza from Esperanza Spalding. This is one of those CDs that is well known for the audiophile recording quality. So give it a try. And especially if you find something like this for one euro in a thrift store, you don't let it go. She is a wonderful bass player. Let me show you. Beautiful picture. Give this one a listen. Next one is from a Dutch violinist, violinist, Janine Janssen. This is one of those things that if you go to the thrift stores every now and then or the charity shops, you will find some of these gems. This is a beautiful recording. It is nice music. She is Dutch. This is the version with an extra bonus CD with some live recording on there and I found this for one euro. It looks like it, is, it has never been used. This album is at the moment also available new in the store for 39 euros. Give it a try. Another thing that I found is this one. Everybody of course knows the Blues Brothers but this is a remastered version. Now 
course I already had the original version. Unfortunately, I gave it a short listen, but most of the remastered versions that they bring out are just louder and more compressed. I just listened to a few songs on these two CDs and I believe this edition suffers from the same fate of just being played louder and being more compressed. Definitely not a better edition than the original one. Here's something interesting. This is a CD Glenn Miller, but as you can see, this is from Stux, not the music label Stux, but the headphone company Stux. And as you can see, it is music that is recorded with a dummy head and is to be played on Stux headphones. So I have a set of Stux headphones and was very happy with this. I didn't know this existed, but even more, if you look at the rear, this is even a numbered edition. I don't know if I have any other CDs that are a limited edition and they are numbered. I have that on, on vinyl, of course, but I don't know if I had it on CD. So I'm definitely going to listen to this one on my Stax headphone set. I picked up, this is not from the thrift store, but from Craigslist, I picked up another Blu-ray from the Ghibli movie company that makes these wonderful anime movies. I love these movies and normally they are very expensive, they stay expensive. So now I found one for 250 And at the same address I also found this one. This is the Bourne uh, Supremacy. I like the, mo the movie, but this is special because this is... Can I get this? Yeah, this is HD DVD which is, of course, at the beginning there was Blu-ray and HD DVD. HD DVD completely lost that competition. And you don't find these often. Now, many times, if you find them, they have some disc rot on there. But this one, as you can see, is still sealed. So, my Oppo player is able to play this one, but for now I'll just keep it uh, sealed. And for one euro and 50 cents, I could not let it go. And then I picked up this stack with all the different composers. Now this is from Reader's Digest. They gave you great compilations, maybe not always the best quality, but these boxes looked brand new and they are all complete. And what they are is four cassettes. These are all still in perfect condition, almost look like this. These sets, none of them have ever been uh, played. just simple cassettes with some of the music of these composers and it comes with a very nice booklet with some information on Wagner in this occasion and about the different songs. Uh, no, this is his uh, biography and there is information on the different songs that are on there and all these editions look equally beautiful. At first I thought, well, I'll just pick up the Mozart one, this one, but you know, for one euro, I thought, well, why not get the whole stack for the museum and who knows what I can do with it in time. Until then, in my media room, I think this will just look beautiful and I will play these cassettes. So this is what I picked up in the last two weeks and mostly I am showing you this because there is a world of quality, interesting music on all kinds of different formats out there for just a few bucks if you take the time to 
look on Craigslist, look in your charity shops, look in your secondhand shops. So let me know in the comments if you picked up something lately. And for now, let's go back to the vlog. Yes, and so we come to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the vlog in Rotterdam today. It is cloudy, it is rainy, it is cold. So time to go on a holiday. Remember, next week, no movie. And today is Friday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.